Hello my friends, welcome to my Compact With Me. Now, I love watching Compact With Me videos, specifically American YouTubers, but the thing is, they pack for these huge trips in Europe, and they're obsessed with just packing hand luggage, which I get, but for me, it's just, uh, it's just not gonna happen. I'm going to Italy for two nights, and I need to bring everything, okay? I'm taking a carry-on, and I'm taking a checked bag, and I have zero regrets, and it's necessary. Now, can I do the whole light packing thing? Absolutely. But when I have the option, it's not something I'm ever going to choose. If you want to see what luggage I use and why, then check out my last compact with me, which was a 17-day trip to Los Angeles, but this is a two day trip, so we need to pack less. This is potentially one of the most organized compact with me's you will ever see from me, and I'm very proud of it. Now, I am a YouTuber, that's what I do. I am there for work, so you're gonna see me pack some things that maybe you wouldn't pack. However, you might take a tripod, I don't know. I'm not judging you, do what you must. But if you do enjoy compact with me's, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe if you want to see more. I will also link my vlog channel down below where you can see what I get up to on these trips. I just got back from Geneva and that vlog is live and I'm heading to Milan and of course I will be vlogging that and that will be going up in like, oh my gosh I don't even know, like a week? If, if not even that long. So I should probably give you a bit of context. So I'm going on a work trip to Milan for two nights and I'm going for a an event that I have to dress okay for. However, I do have free time, so I'm gonna take some cute outfits and enjoy my time in Milan as well. So I like to start packing with my heavy bits. So I have my tripod first, which honestly isn't that heavy, but the hotel that I'm staying in doesn't actually have a gym. So I am gonna be taking my six pound dumbbells, which puts me 12 pounds uh, at weight already, but I'm just gonna make sure I pack them at the bottom of the suitcase, whichever side that is. I should also tell you, I'm not committing a crime. I'm very much suitcases belong on the floor. I have put a blanket on the bed. The blanket is then going in the wash and the sheets under the blanket are being washed as soon as I leave because I leave in 45 minutes. Yeah, and I haven't packed. But I am taking my dumbbells. You may call me crazy, but I love my routine, okay? And as soon as I get out of routine, my whole life goes wrong and I don't want that. It's much harder to get back into routine if you let yourself fall out. I'd rather just carry on. So the majority of my weight on this trip is going to be taken up by dumbbells and ankle weights. And for those of you that always ask how I deal with traveling so often, this is how, routine. Let's get the boring stuff out of the way. I have my toiletry bag. This is one of the best bags I've ever bought. I'm pretty sure it's from Amazon. It came in like a set. Again, this is going to go at the bottom. So anything that's potentially breakable will go at the top of the suitcase and anything that's just not you know, not gonna get damaged, we'll go at the bottom, including my makeup. I take any breakable makeup out and I put that in my carry-on. So I have my eyeshadow palette, blush, and another blush, and this just goes literally in one of the zippy pockets in here and it never gets damaged. I will say I have moved most of my makeup over to cream products purely because I travel so much, but you know, there's certain blushes and like eyeshadows you can't really replace. On to my outfits. I am going for two nights. However, I am staying over in London tonight. So three nights total I'm packing for. And I have specific events. My airport outfit is probably going to be very similar to what I wear today. So that's fine. We'll leave that one till last. But let's start with my outfits for the events. So it is 27 degrees in Italy, but it does say potential thunderstorms. And I always, when I travel, I pack warmer things as opposed to cooler things because there is nothing worse than being in a foreign country and being cold or just not feeling cozy. So with every outfit, I do have a jacket or a jumper. If I don't wear it, that's absolutely fine, but it's more just as like a comfort thing. So firstly, this dress, this is our cat. I will link everything down below and it will be linked on my wardrobe page and my blog along with all of my makeup and everything. And then this jumper is a cashmere jumper from Uniqlo and it is one of my absolute favorites. And then next outfit is this one. So everything does have a corresponding pair of shoes. However, I'm going to do all the shoes at the same time because I need to put them in dust bags. And then this one, I mean, usually I would take all of the tags off, but because I'm only going for two nights and I have so much room, I don't really need the weight. But anything like that, it sounds silly, but it really does make a difference to your weight allowance. Let's get these shoes in some dust bags. I am a very fond dust bag 
user. I think it's important to pack your shoes away properly, not only so they don't get your clothes dirty, but so you can prevent damage. It's so easy for things to get scuffed or knocked in your suitcase, and there's nothing worse than feeling like you can't travel with things that you love because they're going to get damaged. And with shoes, I always place them at the bottom of my suitcase because they are heaviest. Although it does, it does wind me up a little bit when my dust bags aren't the right dust bags for the shoes. Does that bother anyone else? I mean, it's not something I like go to bed thinking about, but definitely what I'm packing, I'm like, oh, I wish I had the right dust bag. So I'm trying to keep anything that I might need tonight whilst I'm at the hotel at the airport on one side. So my pyjamas are the first thing and they're going to be at the top of the suitcase. Basically, I want to be able to just slip anything out that I may need and then just slip it back into place without kind of ruining everything. And and then my gym gear. Now, generally I'm a roller, like a, a like a full on roller when it comes to packing, which I guess I've kind of done, but there's certain things that you can fold. But I just think with rolling, your things get less creased. They take up less room. And yeah, I, I've, been, <laughs> I've been packing a lot. And I know it stresses so many people out when they see me roll my clothes, but I'm telling you, give it a go. You'll have so much more room in your suitcase and they do not crease. Hmm, it is raining out there. So I do think I'm going to need a jumper. I was like, do I put this away? I'm gonna keep it out. I'm gonna put the linen trousers away. They were initially what I was planning on wearing on the plane, but knowing me, I will probably end up just wearing jeans, but I'm going to put them in just in case I end up wearing them at an event. They can go down here. I'm bringing a bikini just in case I have time to kind of chill. I mean, I don't even think there's a pool. I'm at a conference center, but I might be able to lay somewhere, okay? And I'm gonna make the most of it. And I always like to pack an emergency t-shirt I, as I said, I travel a lot and I never know where I'm going to end up. So I like to make sure that I have a variety of things in here that can work. If I get back to England and suddenly I need to stay in London or something like that, like generally I will pack a little black dress and things like that. I haven't this time. Something's telling me I should. I don't want to because I want to come home. <laughs> oh, now I've said it. I know if I don't, I'm going to cause myself real problems. Okay, let's move all these hangers because they're not the prettiest, are they? Okay, we're really getting into the tips and tricks now. There is one thing that I will not travel without, and that is my gym trainers. Even if I'm not working out, even if, like, I don't run, <laughs> there's no gym at the hotel. But is there a very high chance that I'm going to get blisters? Yes! And are these the most comfortable shoes that I own? Yes. And I also always travel with them in a bag. This is really handy because firstly, they're dirty. And secondly, if something happens, like maybe I have a wet swimsuit or something that I'm traveling home with, I can put that in the bag and I can, you know, sort the shoes out another way. Just, it's just handy to have, you know? Well, there we go. Okay, another non-negotiable for me is packing snacks. So I just have a selection of protein bars. I'm only going for two days, but you never know if you're going to get delayed or if you're going to like the food. I mean, I'm going to Italy. I'm sure I'm going to be fine, but because it's a work trip, I'm completely on someone else's schedule and I don't want to be hangry. And I like, I like to know I've got myself covered with that. On the same kind of front as the protein bars, I will take a pack of electrolyte tablets. And these are great just because planes are dehydrating, traveling in general, is dehydrating but I'm gonna put those in my hand luggage and then I also have my hair things that I didn't put in Ooh, I should put some straighteners in should I or some curlers I really should I like to have a little backup outfit just in case so this linen dress is my backup outfit and I feel like this is incredibly versatile which is why I'm taking it as my backup outfit and it can sit there now in terms of shoes I like to make sure I have a really versatile range of day-to-day -day comfortable shoes I'm currently choosing between two I've got my sambas or my golden gooses and I really do think I'm gonna have to go with the golden gooses because I have not worn these in yet and these are just so comfortable this is the look I want to go for but they've given me blisters and my blisters haven't healed yet so I think I'm gonna have to do these and I'm also going to travel in these so easy any underwear or socks I like to put into one side of the suitcase and when they're dirty I can then pop them in the other side it also just saves me having to like reach for them if I was over packing or packing for like a large trip I would put them in my shoes but I don't really need to this is such a privilege packing for such a, a short trip I'm probably going to be heavily made fun of for this but I'm a creature of habit and I love to take a blanket with me I don't take this out on the plane or anything like that it's purely for sleeping with but I'm very much a home comforts person like I said I travel a lot so I like to just have that 
you know, consistency or something. In terms of accessories, I'm taking my Aspinall bag. This one will be fine just to be slipped in. And then anything else that is of high value or is delicate, I'm actually going to pack into my carry-on. So let's get popping it in here. I am very, very careful with what I travel with and especially, especially in countries like cities where, you know, pickpocketing's a thing. I'll make sure I have an option for a bag that is not gonna draw too much attention and I try not to travel with any expensive jewelry or anything like that. It's such a shame but I think it's better to be safe than sorry. So for my carry-ons I'm taking my Ramoa carry-on. I'm also going to travel with my Goyard. Now I usually travel with a backpack. I will show you. This is my Josh backpack from Louis Vuitton and this is my go-to travel bag. It probably has yeah, my eye mask and just travel bits and bobs in here. But to be honest, ooh, I should definitely take my phone strap, that's so handy. Yeah, to be honest, I don't want to. I just, I want to take my Goyard tote with me. But the problem is my hand luggage is always super heavy, so I'm also going to travel with a tote. Now, this is really handy to travel with anyway, because if I go to the gym in hotels, I like to be able to pop all my bits in here, or if, I don't know, I'm going out and I wanna take something with me that's maybe too heavy, or if I'm going shopping and I don't wanna get bags, always travel with a tote. So in here is gonna go my heavier things that I don't wanna put in the suitcase, like my laptop and things like that. I don't want to put those in here because I don't want to break the bag. I think I'm really careful with my things that I love and I really want to take this with me because it's the aesthetic I want to go with. I want to get some pictures with it but at the same time I don't want to risk breaking it. So in the tote is going to go my water bottle. This is great to travel with because there is nothing worse than being on a plane and not having enough water. I'm going to put my electrolyte tablets in there, my book. I'm currently reading It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. I still... <laughs> I started it and I've not gotten very far. My laptop case will also go in here. And then I have my little liquids bag. Now it's a short flight, so I don't really have much in here. Normally I would have a full skincare routine, but I just got my hand sanitizer, lip balm, and then I also have perfume and just any tablets or anything like that. So that's gonna go into this bag. I have a pair of sunglasses that I'm actually gonna switch out. And I'm gonna put these ones in here. Ooh, what's in here? Oh, I love these and other stories ones. Okay, they can come too. <laughs> Oh, this is my problem. I have a hairbrush and just like any bits and bobs. In here, the rest is going to be my tech. So as I said, I'm going for work. So I need to take tech things with me. That's my tech bag. My passport is also going to go in here. And just basically anything that I need, chargers. I do take compression socks for the flight. I actually have arthritis. So any opportunity my joints get to uh, hold fluid, they do. And I fly a lot and I, you know, I just think it's really good to protect yourself. And if you can help yourself in terms of not getting blood clots and things like that, then you absolutely should. So those will go in my hand luggage. I then have my camera bag. So my camera situ is a bit intense for this trip. So I'm going to take my vlog camera. This will just be in my hand luggage out. I'm going to take my G7X Mark II. I'm also going to take my, oh, am I? Yes, I am. I'm going to take my disposable camera. And then I also have the new Canon V10, I believe it's called. This is brand new. It's basically the newest vlogging camera. It's on charge right now. And I'm going to take that to try it out. And then I'm also going to take my big EOS R that you are, like, this is what I'm filming with right now. So those will go into my hand luggage. I always get asked how I travel with cameras. And it's another reason why I take a tote with me in my hand luggage, because if for some reason I get to the gate and they're like, yeah, you need to check your bag, I am stuffed. So I'm never gonna be that person on a flight that's gonna be like, I can't check my bag, I have delicate things. Sometimes you just have to suck it up and check it, right? So I have the tote so I can take my delicate things out, put them in the tote, and I tend to find that they're grateful that you've not caused a fuss and they'll just be like, you know, do what you need to do. Don't know what I would do if they weren't like that, but that's what I found works. So anything delicate goes in here and if for some reason they make me check it, then I will, you know, decant into here. I mean, to be honest, I think I'm getting there. So this goes over here. Um, let me just flatten this out a little bit. I'm now scared that I've not taken a little black dress. Someone's watching over me going, Emily, put the dress in the bag. I'm going to do my little silk number from Reformation because I have shoes that match and I have a bag that matches. So easy. And then I was going to take the Sandro coat, but I think I'm just going to chicken out and take my Burberry trench because I know it matches with everything. I want to take my hat 
wherever my hat is and it's green as well i just think is that too, it's too many greens it's too many greens or do i just do it because this is different it's fresh am i just scared because it's different yes i'm taking this i'm taking this i'm getting over it i'm trying to convince myself i don't want to take it and i do i'm gonna put a hat in as long as i've got like sun cream hat comfy shoes i am literally fine um i've got a little black dress you know what as chaotic as that was i think i'm good i'm like looking what i've got i've got chargers i've got a lap i need to check that i've got my laptop charger actually that was on my list every night before i travel i write myself a list of things that i'm freaking out about and checking that i had a laptop charger was on my freak out list well, I think I'm good. So I'm going to zip this case up. Obviously I'm gonna do like a, a once over one more time to make sure I have everything I need. But I try and kind of run my way through my day and just make sure I have everything to go about my day. And generally that stops me forgetting anything. Everything's kind of wedged in, which is pretty important because I don't want it going anywhere. And these suitcases are great because everything does stay in place. And then for my carry on, I'm just going to leave this for now because I need to put you in there. But that is everything that I'm taking with me on my two day trip to Milan. Well, two night, three day trip to Milan. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Check out my other compact with me's. I give little like nuggets of tips every time and I will see you in the vlog on my vlog channel. Goodbye.